all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends um, as usual I thought I would do it maybe tomorrow or even the after but I cannot um, I got tempted to be honest with you by answering Muslims or refuting them and look like I cannot fight this temptation you know <clears throat> Always Muslims they come to us with the questions and those questions are nothing but repeated But if you look at the questions Muslims they give you you will find that Muslims always they come short with two things honesty and intellect And today we will show you an example Nothing new, but I will show you an example If you look with me in the text by the way, we have a Muslim he is, uh, you know, he keep posting Allah is all merciful, Allah is etc. But he cannot prove to us any of what he is saying. I mean, the guy, he keeps saying things, but I mean, what, how you can prove that to us? How Allah is all merciful, but he says to you, when you fight, when you go after your enemy, even cut your fingertips. I understand you want to kill them. They are your enemies. But cutting their fingertips, this is not a merciful God. This is a God who believes in horror movies and he watch horror movies. Your God, the merciful, he, he teaches in the Quran that he is going to insert in your anus a chain which is each ring of it is bigger than the whole universe of iron. So where is the merciful Allah who is going to insert all tons of millions and billions of iron in your anus? And he will insert the chain in your anus and he will let it come out from your nose. So you keep saying to us, Allah is all merciful, but we saw nothing of your, 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 of your mercy. They are like a you know a, a recording machine. They keep reporting the same thing, but they cannot prove what they are saying. When the Quran speak of something different. Today we are going go uh, over a post made by Muslim. Please invite your friends. We just uh, started. It's not expected to do uh, you know broadcast now, but I wanted to answer this Abdul. I feel sorry for him. So you know what we can do. We have to help the Abdul. <clears throat> uh, we have this Abdul here in YouTube. He posed the following. Joel Ahmed. I don't know if it's a male or a female. I have no idea. I love my true friends, Christian friends. First of all, you as a Muslim, you are not allowed to love any friends. Specifically Christians and Jews. The Quran even forbid you from taking your father and your brother as, as a friend. So why are you lying? So the first start in the question here is nothing but a taqiyya. And look, they are very genuine and kind. But are you genuine and kind? Are you respectful? When you follow a prophet, he says that the Christians are the worst of the creatures and they are nudges, which means they are dirty, they are filthy. Kill them wherever you find them. Force them in the most narrow alley. He was respectful and kind and genuine. If we go in the Quran, we find the following. You see, I don't like to give speeches. I like to get liars busted. Even your father. Even your father, who is your father, you are not allowed to take him as a friend. And your brother, unless he is a Muslim. If we go to chapter 9, verse number 23. And this is your Muslim translation, Abdul. Don't tell me I'm making things up. Otherwise, really, I will be upset from you. And Allah himself will be upset from you. Let us see how we can reset this text here to make it appear better. <clears throat> oh, you believe. Take not your father and your brother for guardian if they love and believe. The, by the way, it doesn't say guardian. It says take them not as guardian and the friends. If you change the translator, you will find right away the translation change. Muslims, they lie when they translate. And this is why you will see a huge difference between one translation and the other. Because if they are honest, the translation should not change that much. Oh, who you believe, take not for protector your father and your brother if they love the infidelity above the faith. So even your father and your brothers, from your blood, they are your enemies. And you are telling me I have a, a Christian a friend. 
in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 51 as long you said to us that you have a Christian friends which is absolute lie because either you are a liar or your God is a liar or your prophet is a liar you choose one in chapter 5 verse number 51 it says oh Muslims oh who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as your friends they are friends of each other and he of you who take them as a friend he is one of them which means he is a Christian like them do you see it so in the beginning of your question you start with hypocrisy saying to us that you have a Christian friends when Muslims are not allowed to have a Christian friends and this is why I say when a Muslim he asks a question he is not asking question but he is making a statement full of deception I have a Christian friends how you have a Christian friends if the Quran says if you do it's mean you are out of Islam unless you are trying to say to me you are out of Islam if this is the case then shut up shame on you to defend Islam when the Quran says you are out of Islam and you are one of them and you are even unjust just because you took me as a friend Do you see the hypocrisy? I have, I have a, you know, I mean, what's wrong with you Christians? What's wrong with you? I have a Christian friends. I love them. I love my true Christian friends. They are very genuine and they are very kind and respectful. <laughs> what a scam. What a scam and what a lie. And look here, he says, but for all of you hypocrite Christians who follow the Islamophobe, hold, hold on. Let us see who is the hypocrite first. I never saw a religion teaching hypocrisy as you Muslims. A second ago, we got you busted saying, I love my Christian friends. While the Quran says you cannot take them as a friend and the one who take them as a friend is one of them. So either you are being hypocrite saying that to us doing taqiyya as in chapter 3 verse 28 where it says you can speak to them if friendly as long your heart is this like this about islamophobe i never saw somebody is sick with phobe except you muslims and the proof is the following the first thing you do in the morning you start cursing the christians and the jews before even you clean your ass anything anything offending you anything you get offended from anything if somebody eat pork you have a phobia if somebody wear a cross you have a phobia if somebody have a Christmas tree you have a phobia if somebody play music you have a phobia and by the way Muslims they don't like music but they watch porn and you talk about Islamophobe You cannot even pray to your God without cursing us. Five times a day, you have to recite Al-Fatiha, saying to your God, Allah, Allah, please, Allah, please, Allah. Don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Is that correct or I'm lying? Please, Allah, keep us in the right path, Allah. The path of those who upon you has bestowed favor, not the path who upon whom worth is brought down, and those who go astray. Who are those? The Jews and the Christians. So five times a day you insult us and you say we are the one who is lost and we are the one who go, who, who get cursed. Let us continue. How do you Christians justify the fact that the New Testament is totally the opposite of the Old Testament? Did God change his mind in New Testament say, I am, uh, I know I am a three? First of all, you are a specific, you are a certified donkey. The Old Testament and the New Testament, they are not the opposite for a very simple reason. The one who order the orders in the Old Testament is the same, same one who order in the New Testament. If we ask the Muslims, is it true that the God of Islam, as an example, he made 
the Jews, pigs and monkeys for breaking the Sabbath? They say yes. Okay. He made them pigs and monkeys, which is very funny, stupid story. And then we notice that Allah, he don't care for the Sabbath no more. Any Muslim can tell us why? Why the, the Islamic New Testament is totally different from the Old Testament of the Jews? What happened to the Sabbath? <clears throat> hmm? Any Muslim can tell us? Everything in the Quran is a total contradiction for what, what the Quran says about the Jews. And not only that, Muhammad, he confirmed that the first one who broke the Sabbath was Allah. What is the day Allah created the heaven and the earth with? The first day was the Saturday. How Allah He ordered the Jews not to break Sabbath, but He Himself work in Sabbath. Hmm? Do you see your your prophet doing poo poo? Allah the exalted, the glorious, He created the clay on Saturday. So Allah He ordered the Jews to not to break Saturday, and then He told them. I will make you pigs and monkeys if you break Saturday, but he break the Saturday. Hmm. Interesting. And the first thing Allah He created the clay. The clay? Shouldn't he create the space first? Okay, he created the clay, he put it where in his in the ears. When Allah He created first thing the clay, where he put the clay in his mouth? Shouldn't you create a space first for the clay? What do you mean I create the clay first? And this is total contradiction for what it says in many verses in the Quran, and the Quran contradicts itself anyway. Some verses says Allah created the earth first, and then He finished the heaven, and some verses says Allah He finished the heaven first, and He created the earth after. Stupidity. Let it go, let it go. Now, He said, the God of the Old Testament, suddenly he remembered that he is a three. That is very stupid of you to say. Because if you go to the first chapter, the first page in the Bible, you will see God is speaking about himself and his spirit. Do you see it? In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Let us get an audio with this. The book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved. Did you hear it, Abdul? The Spirit of God. And here we need to ask you a question. How you Muslims, you claim that the God of the Jews is the same as the God of Abraham, but yet it is the same as the God of Muhammad when your God, he has no spirit and he is not a spirit. The God of Islam is a physical being. He has no spirit and he is not a spirit. Which means he is a dead body. So you notice with me that from the first line in the Torah, it says that God exists as God and as a spirit in the same time. And then if we go to Genesis 18, we will find that God, he came to us as a man. And by the way, Muhammad, he mentioned this story in his Quran, but he claimed that the Quran is speaking about eight angels.
and the Lord appeared appear to him to who to Abraham he appeared to him as what as a man as you see three men they came to Abraham so in the Old Testament in the first book in the Old Testament we see God and then we see the spirit and then we see God coming as a man and this is why Jesus says before Abraham I am so it is you who is naive and you Muslims you keep repeating the same stupid donkey stuff that the Old Testament never mentioned the Trinity let us continue how do the Christian justify the fact that the New Testament totally the opposite we answer that why do you ignore that what did what Paul did Paul never met Isa I like this line guys Paul he never met Isa well when Muhammad never met Allah and the Bible says that yes Paul he met Isa Abdul he met him and he spoke to him and he made him even blind and you are a liar but as long you don't accept a messenger to be a messenger unless he met the God then how Muhammad became God messenger without meeting his God or speaking to him did your prophet Muhammad meet his God did he no same time as long you are talking about Paul my friend don't you know you're ignorant that Paul is recognized in Islam as a messenger of God and he is the messenger of the Messiah you Muslims are copying Ahmad Didad the donkey if we go right now and we see what the Quran says about Paul you will not believe it let us do so garbage in garbage out what we can say this is tafsir ibn kathir I'm going to choose one of your biggest donkeys ibn kathir and for sure now after Ibn Kathir he got you busted you will say he's a donkey right hmm. <clears throat> let us go first to the verse garbage in please guys invite your friends in chapter 36 verse number 14 it says that there's a three messengers are sent and those are the messengers of the Messiah they are the messenger of the Messiah and here we need to ask the Abdul how the Messiah has messengers if he is a messenger which means how the Messiah can be a messenger of God if he himself is a messenger have you ever heard of such a thing before if I am a messenger, I cannot make you a messenger. Only God can make people messengers. The Quran here speak about two messengers Allah He sent, which is Jesus supposedly. We string them with the third, which is the most powerful. And who is the third? That is Paul. If we go to your big donkey, Ibn Kathir, And I'm saying donkey because you are going to call him that because he is going to get you busted and you will say, oh, Ibn Kathir, he don't present me. Oh, Ibn Kathir is a human. Well, I thought your prophet is a human too. Hmm? We sent to them two messengers and they deny them and they hasten to disbelieve in them. Okay, so we send them the third one. Who is the third one? We enforce them with the third means we supported them, string them with the third messenger, Ibn Juraj, narrated from Wahab ibn Sulaiman, from Shu'aib al Jabi, whatever. The name of the first two messengers is Shamun, which means Simon Peter, and Johanna, which means John, 
and the name of the third is Polos, Bulos in the Islamic way they say it, which means Paul. And the city is Antioch. So do you see how donkey you are when you attack Paul, you Muslims? Aren't you ashamed of yourself, all of you copy-paste of the Dad and Shabir Ali? If your book saying that Paul was a messenger and he is even the strongest between the three. Actually, I see here that we have the three musketeer story. You Muslims, you say that the Trinity is false, but even when God, he want to prove himself, he sent the three. Did you ask myself why he sent the three? What about Paul? He sent it from the beginning and that's it. As long as he is the hero who, who, break karate, who play karate. Why Allah he need to send the three? Islam is based on number three Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. All of Islam is based on number three. Muhammad, when he says Assalamu alaikum, he says three times. When he when when he do evolution, he have to do it three times. If you go right now and type in the tafsir in English, I will teach you something, a trick, a trick. Hmm? You do not need to know Arabic. Here we go. I will type in front of you. <clears throat> I will type the word three times. Oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Sorry. Guess what? Look what we will see. The messenger of Allah, he liked to supplicate it three times and ask for burden from Allah three times. If Allah will answer Muhammad, why he need to? Why Muhammad? He need to make three calls. Tereden, 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 tereden. Allah, assalamu alaikum. I ask mercy from you. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah, la man, la ima, wa zubillah min al shaytan al nazim. Let's not na manin. Allahu na manin, na man na nanin, na ba na nanin, ha na 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 nin, na nin, amin. Okay, Muhammad. Now he finished the first call. He called again. Tereden, 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 tereden. The, the phone have to ring three times, remember, not not two. Tereden, tereden. Bismillah, al-Rahman, al-Rahim. Awuzu billahi min al-Shaytan al-Nazim. Anani al-Nanim. Dada al-Nazim al-Nazim. And I eat hummus and I eat cheese kebab. Amin. Okay, this is the second call. Muhammad is not done. He have to make the third call. Otherwise, Allah will not listen. Tereden, tereden. Tereden, tereden. Tereden, tereden. Bismillah, al-Rahman, al-Rahim. Awuzu min al-Lahim min al-Shaytan al-Nazim. I eat hummus every day. Amin. Now Muhammad is comfortable. That's it, because he supplicate his prayer three times. Because if it was once, is not going to be accepted. If it was a twice, is going to be rejected. But now because it's a three, for sure it's confirmed. And yet you say to us that we are not people who believe in the Trinity. The Prophet performed wudu a three time for each limb, including his penis. What limp? Which one? Oh, I forgot, Muhammad, you don't have one. His hands, his feet, right? Each limp? Three times? Why three times? I mean, what's wrong with doing it once? What about we do it four? Repeat, repeat with me, please. Uh, Kutayba said in his narration, <clears throat> For the ribad, that the ribad is the ribad the three times. What does that mean? I mean, how funny even the Muslim translate the word ribad, they keep it in Arabic. Tell the people what ribad mean. Stupid people. I saw Ali performing wudu. He washed his hand three times. And he raised his mouth three times. And his nose three times. And his face three times. And each four arm three times. And then, what's wrong with you? Let it go, let it go. Do you see it? I mean, this is the three time, three time. This is a religion of a three time. When Muhammad want to drink water, he have to sniff the water as if he is a dog. <laughs> three time. Have you ever heard of somebody sniffing water three times before he drink it? Huh? I forgot I have my tea here. Let me sniff it three times. Hmm? 
he sniffed water up to his nose at three times in your nose we'll enjoy it how disgusting the prophet used to put water to pour water in his head three times what why is that hmm the prophet not only that when he says something he have to repeat the same statement three times read with me that Allah messenger is a look how big the saw man this guy he got like a he got like now look 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 how big if 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 saw bm mercedes benz they cannot saw okay i mean how stupid it is would repeat the statement at three times so that it could be understood ah oh, he's speaking to donkeys and the donkeys cannot understand it unless it's a three time mm. i mean what about four four for sure they will understand it more why he stuck with number three huh if i continue i will spend 10 years reading for you stories about muhammad doing things at three time even when muhammad he go to a place he say assalamu alaikum three time assalamu alaikum three time have you ever heard of madness like this the prophet said the prophet said there is uh, 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 there is muaqibat the muslim they could not explain, translate this one because it's stupid uh who uh, he who says them shall not be miserable okay what is the muaqibat every prayer 33 time and you praise him 33 time and look to be honest with you muhammad here for the first time he made a change he said 34 time <laughs> Finally, he made a change. <coughs> Look at this. If any one of you extols Allah after every prayer 33 times and praise Allah 33 times and declare guarantees. 33 time 99 time in all what 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 33 time is the age of jesus on earth which is multiply of the trinity so you say 33 time this repeating the same words Imagine you are praying a prayer 33 times. I mean, that's something. And then you praise Allah 33 times. And declare the greatness of Allah 33 times, which means you have to say Allah is bigger. Allah is bigger 30 times, which means Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. The total is 99 times. And the one who says that and complete to 100, there is no God but Allah. Have no partner with him, brother. Okay, what will happen? Allah will forgive all his sin, even if it's bigger than a sea. I mean, how easy to forgive the sin in Islam. All what I need to do, just to repeat this prayer 33 times, which can be finished in less than 15 minutes. And that's it. Allah forgive all my sin. Where is this donkey, Nadir? Don't let him even hear. Get out from here, donkey. This Nader Ahmad, I, I don't want him to be in the text here. I just saw a video that he was making fun of uh, of uh, uh, of Nabil Qurayshi that because he have cancer and he was making fun of David with the children because they are sick. I don't talk to mentally ill people. You are sick and you are you are you are a, you are the, is an insect. You are literally an insect. A person who make fun of people like this, he is an insect. Don't ever try even to come to my channel. How dare you to make fun of a children of David Wood because they are sick, you filthy bastard. What a stupid idiot. You are not a man.
if you have a son and he cannot walk I will make fun of your son you idiot what this have to do with, with, with our debate about God unless you are sick and you are filthy and you have a very disgusting heart somebody died by cancer you make fun of him because he died by cancer you're you're, you're a prophet he died by poison No one to speak to him. This guy. This guy is an idiot. He is a donkey. He don't know even anything about his religion. He is just seeking attention. He he's, he's desperate trying to debate people, because he want to say like I am. You know, look, I am. You know what I can do. Yeah. He is the one who accept that he's a prophet. He have sex with animals. Just in case you do not know. Don't mention his name again in my channel, please. You see, before I used to think about him like, okay, he is mentally ill, so it's okay. I will talk to him, no problem. But after I saw what he did, speaking badly about uh, uh, David Wood children's, I mean, this is disgusting. Let, let us say uh, hijab. He have a children. They are sick. Why I want to make fun of them? I mean, that's sick. You know, we are debating about God. We are not here to make fun of your children's. If you think that God he make he he punish his children for what he is doing, go and look at, at yourself. Look at the mirror and see who you are. You are mentally ill. Obviously, if this is the case, that means your God, God is punishing you. Because why God made you like this? Right? Let us continue. So as you see. Everything the Muslims they do in their life is based on number three. Whoever asks Allah, S A W T, Mercedes Benz, paradise three times, paradise says, Oh, hold on, this is need Zakir Naik. <clears throat> Let us call Zakir Naik and ask him about this hadith. Shall we call Zakir Naik, guys? Let us call him and the phone will ring only three times. Tereden, 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 tereden. Who is this? Assalamu alaikum. I told you one billion times don't call me when I'm asleep. And I'm going to call the FBI for you. You are doing sexual harassment for me. Uh, just take it easy, man. I'm just, I want to ask you. I don't get, don't even call me even again. I told you what is the question uh, there is a hadith it says that the prophet he said whoever asked for Allah uh, paradise uh, paradise will ask Allah for him to go to paradise three times why is that okay I will explain to you but first uh, promise me that you will not ever call me again did you promise me uh, I cannot promise you that Okay, just lie to me. Just say, okay, okay, I promise you. Just to make me feel comfortable. I cannot do that. I'm a Christian. The Christian, they lie a lot. Come on, the Christian, they lie. Say to us that this is God. This is the lie. Just tell me. Okay, come on. Just give us the answer. Okay. When you invoke prayer to Allah and you say to him, give me paradise Allah three times. Paradise will be activated. Paradise is like a suicide bomb. You put the bomb, first time it doesn't work. Second time it doesn't work. Third time it works. So when you act like this and you ask Allah for paradise, paradise right away is going to intercede for you. Uh, but brother, is a paradise, is it an, a man? Like is a paradise, is, it some, is, it, is someone can talk and speak and think? According to Islam, yes, paradise can speak and can talk and even fire. Because Allah occupied them, with its speaking recognition. Oh, so the paradise have a speaking recognition. What about hearing? The paradise can hear me? Yes, absolutely. When you call Allah three times, paradise, her eyes and her ears is open and they can receive any conversation it happened in this world. And right away, the paradise is going to transcend the call for you to Allah. So paradise is like... Uh phone conjection or reception department 
Exactly. Thank you very much. You are getting smarter. Finally, finally, Christian Prince is getting smarter. So, Paradise, receive your phone call and say, Paradise, they speak and intercede for you. Thank you very much. Don't call me again, okay? You ask Allah, whoever, even Christian Prince, whoever, Allah, give me Paradise. This is the first one. Allah, give me Paradise. This is second one. Allah, give me red eyes. This is third time. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm hearing something. I hear something. Oh, Allah, admit the Christian prince to paradise. Oh, Allah, admit Christian prince to paradise. Oh, Allah. This is this is paradise, okay. I mean, this is beautiful. This is how easy you go to heaven. I mean, you can be the most qualified child molester in the earth, a scumbag, criminal, killer, and yet all what you need to do, you ask Allah three times to go paradise, you go paradise. Do you see it? And they say to us that Islam is not the religion of a trinity. Everything in Islam is about a three, even divorce. When a man he divorced his wife three times, it's fine at divorce. She cannot come back to him unless she sleep with a new donkey. And the Muslim, by the way, they say to us, we are conservative. What kind of conservative religion force a woman to sleep with a new man so she can go back to the older man, which means the older husband. To make it simple for you in Islam, if you divorce your wife three times, she cannot come back to you again to your house and let's she go and supposedly marry at least for one night stand and that other guy he tastes her juice and she tastes his juice which means his orgasm Do you see it you cannot it's not the principle for you to remarry the first husband unless he the new husband test your juice and you test his juice do you see it and look how the Muslim they false the false translation they say he like look here the word it, it taste her juice is gone in this hadith translation but it is here in Arabic you see, you cannot, my brother. We are very conservative people. Your wife, she now she have to go and sleep with the new guy, and he have to test her orgasm, and she have to test his orgasm. I mean, do you see how conservative we are? We make our wife wear burqa. The guy today he called me. Remember the kid he called me supposedly like uh, he's in a chat room. He wanna show the Muslim girls that he is a hero. He's calling Christian Prince. So he said, the Christian Prince, you know that everybody knows that we are very, very. You say that we are very strict people. I never saw that you are very strict. Islam is the most lousy, stupid religion ever. In Islam, women have no panty, as you see. If Islam is a very strict religion, then you should see what what, what you should be as the same as Jesus. Who made divorce extremely hard unless it is for adultery but you divorce and you marry and you divorce and you marry and you divorce it's, it's actually it's not a marriage it's a sex contract even the Quran did not mention the word Zawaj it mentioned Inkahu and just to show you how lousy this religion is Quran like well, there is one said in the text a Christian Prince you are saying that we uh, um, you know uh, we, we have sex with four yeah you have sex with four so you marry four, but you have sex with one. <laughs> you marry four, but you have sex with one. Ah, oh, yeah, the three, the rest of three are your sisters, right? I mean, this is very silly. Look here. The Quran even never says go and marry, and we proved that before that the word nikah means to f them. But look what the Quran said. The Quran said, go and if two and three and four. And if you cannot, 
then you go for one so your Quran is start with a th with two as for a starting like starter you know you are new in the business so you take two together as a package go if to read with me you see the Muslim here they translate the word inkahu as Mary which is false the word here is inkahu which means if them so go and if and look how the Quran speaking about orphan if you fear that you cannot be equitable toward the orphan then go and if women so the Quran is encouraging Muslims to if little children who they are orphans do you see it a Muslim man who want to do charity to orphan he if them this is what the charity in Islam is if this is talking about marriage what do you mean you want to marry the orphans how you can marry an orphan orphan is a child we don't call someone orphan unless he or she is a child is that correct guys is that correct who wants some tea actually it's tea mixed with the uh, uh, what it's called a chocolate coca powder who wants some <clears throat> brothers and sisters I want to be nice to the orphan <laughs> since when being nice to the orphan by sleeping with the children what kind of a disgusting God is God so if you cannot be nice to the orphan which means you don't like to sleep with kids go and if two and the three and four do you see it? I am sure this potato who posted that in YouTube he is very sorry for opening his mouth. Where is that written? This is a chapter four, verse number three. Chapter four, verse number three. If there is any Muslim he don't agree with me, you can call me. Only Muslims they can call. Even though I'm not really in the mood to to talk now, like over because they make me shout and you know you know them. They play they play dumb you know. Sometimes sometimes they are dumb, but many of them in order to avoid answering anything they play dumb. Like the guy who called me previously, he said to me, "We are very strictly yeah right." And how come God, if, if if Islam is from Satan, so how come God go against himself? What do you mean God go against himself? Have you ever heard of a God saying, go and F orphans? And then says, go F2 and 3 and 4. And if you cannot afford it, then you go to 1. This is about not being affording it. Not about being justice. The justice here is about you cannot afford. Because the same chapter, says that you will never be able to be justice with women so what do you mean if you cannot be justice then only one if you confirm that nobody can be justice with women was muhammad justice with women huh was muhammad justice with women no he was not So everything in this cult is a stupid. It doesn't make sense. Read with me what it says here. And if you have, if you have it, not in your power to do justice between wives, even though you may wish it, but do not disclaim them. What, what, I mean, this is the most stupid translation ever. What is that? What is that? It says in Arabic, You will never be able to be justice. And you have it not in your power to do justice. I mean, why you, why you, like it's like somebody look at the translation it's like somebody ask you which one is your left ear so you use your right hand to point your your finger at that you know i mean you have to go in circle 
let us change the translation show you how stupid the Quran is uh, this is Shakir Shakir is potato let us see other potato you will not be e deal equally between your wives so why the Quran chapter 4 verse number 3 it says you know go f2 and 3 and 4 and if you cannot be justice go to one Dahana uh, Gabi Belin. I mean, guys, should I understand that language? Some people sometimes they say things I don't understand. What does that mean? Do we have any Muslim here have a comment? Let us go back to the YouTube. The poor, the poor Muslim here who's copy paste. By the way, they copy this comment, all of them, and they paste it wrong. The same, the same comment. It's not like a question of a Muslim. All right. Look what he says. Uh, he claimed that he was inspired dream in a dream vision. That's false. And then he says, if that's Paul, he said, if my falsehood in has God truthfulness, so and so increase his glory, why I am still condemned for as a sinner. You see how stupid you are? Paul is saying, You're accusing me to be a false person. But I am not glorifying myself. So if my falseness is about to glorifying my God, what is my sin, you idiot? Paul is not saying he is false. This is what they say to him. They said to him, you are false. So he said to them, if you are saying to me, I, I am false, so how come my false is not about to glorifying me? It's about to glorifying my Lord. Silly, stupid. Garbage. If none of the disciples were able to read and write, who wrote the books and described the names? I mean, this is very stupid of you to say that nobody knows how to write, how to read. This is very stupid. It's you Muslims who believe in that. All right? It's you Muslims who believe in this garbage. All the disciples, you so Jesus, Jesus. Is not like your prophet even if they even if there is somebody do not know how to write how to read the Bible is speak that even Jesus and even your Islamic books and I can show the reference that when the disciple of Jesus they came to Jesus and it, because he said to them go and teach the world about me and this is in Islamic books they came to him and they said okay you order us to go and teach the world about you but we don't speak the language of other words. So how we will teach them? The Messiah, he told them, go sleep. And they wake up in the morning, everybody speak different language. How you explain that to me? And you must believe in this. Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? Isn't it amazing that Jesus he can make you sleep other speak other languages? And your God, he said to Muhammad, read it three times, still he cannot. The Bible was not written for about 50 years after the death of Jesus. None of the people named disciple of Jesus wrote anything. So who wrote those books in the Bible? Abdul. What we have, what we have is that the, 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 the books is written, the date is written, or let us say finished after, let us say, 50 years of Jesus. But doesn't mean they were not writing. Same time, we notice and we see that the disciple of Jesus, they are writing letters to each other, and this is will debunk your stupid question saying that the disciple of Jesus do not know how to write, how to read. They were writing letters discussing the Bible and discussing solutions for questions they have in their life and their mission. So the Bible is already in the process of writing. 
in the same time as long your view is something written after 50 years of Jesus how you accept something about Jesus written 600 years actually no Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus then the Quran written more than 600 years after Muhammad because no Muslim have the Quran of Muhammad the Quran the Muslims they have today Is not even the Quran of Muhammad and they agree that this is the Quran is called they claim actually even the Muslims say Quran which mean the the book of Quran claimed one claimed which is not confirmed I will show you something This is a book is called a Shia al Ithna Ashariya wa Tahrif al Quran, the book of Shia Ithna Ashariya and the claim of the corruption of the Quran. Okay, what it says here Rawat Tubrasi, and he said, When the Prophet of Allah he died, Ali he collected the Quran. And he came with it to the companion of the Prophet from the Muhajirin and Ansar. And he showed them the Quran he wrote. As the Messenger of Allah, he told him to do. When Abu Bakr, he opened the book and he read the first page of it, he found a lot of scandals and exposing of scandals of the people. So Omar he jumped and he said, Oh Ali, take it, take it. We do not need it. We do not need it. So Ali he took it and he left. So the Muslim they refused the Quran of Ali, which is according to the story here, Muhammad he asked Ali to write it. Why? Because it have a lot of scandals. Now where is the Quran of Ali? And where is the Quran of Abu Bakr? And where is the Quran of Uthman? And where is the Quran? Actually, Muhammad he said Allah he sent him the Quran in seven letters. Where are the seven letters? If we ask you right now, as an example, by the way, I can show you tons of reference about the Quran corruption. I mean, you will not believe it. You will not believe it. And but for me, I don't talk much about the corruption of the Quran because how you can corrupt the corrupt? You know what I mean? Guys, you understand what I'm saying? If the book itself, the original one, let us say the Quran never been corrupt, it's a garbage. I mean, how? what is the point of approving the corrupt to be corrupt again? I mean, this is not really why I want to waste my time with that. But there is tons of references speaking about the corruption of the Quran and even from the Muslim sources, Sunni sources, not only Shia. This is Shia sources now. Actually, the one who write the Quran here is speaking about the Shia and he is collecting the Shia sources. But if we want to go and see and read, we will find tons of reference about those stupid things, which is really disgusting. <coughs> Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Let me show you some reference about the Quran being corrupted. And this is where we start first. We showed you from the Shia. Let's show you some from the Sunni. Sahih uh, al-Bukhari. Let us show them Sahih al-Bukhari. Because they like Sahih al-Bukhari.
read with me here how the Quran is different from the Quran you have today. It says, when he says, وَاللَّيْلُ إِذَا وَالنَّهَارُ إِذَا تَجَلَّ وَاللَّيْلُ إِذَا يُغْشَ وَالنَّهَارُ إِذَا تَجَلَّ وَالذَّكَرُ وَالْأُنْثَ Where is that in the Quran today? Where is that in the Quran today? And by the male and the female. This is Sahih Bukhari, and this is the reference. Where we can find it. Another story. Two Muslims are fighting over the Quran. They are reciting the same chapter, but everybody reciting differently. Why? Because Muhammad is a liar. Muhammad, he cannot recite the same story twice. Read with me, Allah. I heard Hisham ibn Hakim, or Hakim, reciting the Surah of Furqan during the lifetime of Allah Messenger. This is during during his lifetime. I listened to his recitation and then noticed that it was his reciting in a way that Allah Messenger did not taught us. So what this guy notice? That he never heard this before. Why this guy is reciting the Quran in like this? He's, he's saying something different, obviously. So when he heard that, I was about to jump over him while he was still in prayer. But I waited patiently. And when he finished the prayer, I put my sheen around his neck. And I pulled him and said, who has taught you this surah, huh? Who? Who has taught you this surah? Who? Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? So this Abdul, he noticed that this guy is making up Quran. So he want to check it out and see who let the dogs out. So he put his sheet around his neck and almost he killed him. And he brought him to Muhammad. Look what happened. Who has taught you, you this surah, which I have heard you reciting? Huh? Hisham said, Allah Messenger. Look, like, what the heck? So how come I have it differently? The same surah. I uh, taught me. He is the one taught it to me. I said, you are telling a lie. Because obviously it's too much different. For he taught it to me in a way different from the way you recite it. Uh -huh. Allah is not repeating the same surah twice correctly. Then I started leading or dragging him like a dog huh, to Allah Messenger and say to the Prophet, I have heard this man reciting the surah of Al-Furqan in the way that you have not taught me. The Prophet said, Omar, release him. Recite Hashim. So Hashim recite. Hashim recited the way I heard it, him reciting. Allah Messenger said it was revealed like this what the heck then allah messenger he said to omar recited the way and i recited the way he taught me whereupon he said it was revealed like this <laughs> how it was revealed like this They are reciting the same chapter, totally different. And the guy almost killed the other guy because it's totally different. So how Muhammad, he come and say, this is how it was. Because Muhammad is a liar. He recited the Quran. He cannot remember it, how he, he said it before. So the people, they learned from him as he said in front of them. And Muhammad, he knew that. He cannot say, I did not say that.
So he told both, and this is how it came. But as you see, those guys they never heard him saying that before. And then he said, the Quran has revealed to be recited in seven different way, which means we should have seven Quran. Where are they? Number seven again. Seventy version. Seven skies. He's copying the number seven from the Bible. Hmm? What do you think, people? Thank you for those who will make donation. We appreciate that. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? But you know, I have to admit that Muhammad must be a prophet. As an example, Muhammad, he knows things nobody knows. Nobody knows. I mean, this guy is beyond imagination, man. As an example, how Muhammad in you, how the ice is made it, or is made. That's impossible for a guy who is exist 1400 years ago. According to Muhammad, ice or hail is made in the warehouse of Allah. He have a mountain there. And Allah, he broke the ice from the mountain and he threw it at us. And by the way, this is true. I saw the mountain when I was flying the airplane one day in the flying carpet, sorry, of my grandfather, because in the Middle East, all of us, we have flying carpet and Alibaba. So I was in the sky and I saw flying carpet and I noticed that God was breaking ice and throwing hail on us. Isn't it obvious that the prophet is a prophet? You tell me how the prophet was able to recognize this. Hmm? In the heaven, Allah have mountains of hail. And the prophet, he knew that 14 hundred years ago you watch your two videos and they say to you how the prophet knows this 1400 years ago <clears throat> every single claim the Muslims they have in their scientific miracle is a scam you can get my book Quran and science actually both of them I speak about the false science of the Quran debunking their false science you can get my books, you know, Deception of Allah and Quran and Science because they complete each other. And you will see how we get them busted with no mercy. And by the way, Quran and Science is a is a big book full of reference, which is amazingly funny. But for some reason, people still they like to buy or read the Deception of Allah more. I don't know why. Even though I get a lot more work done in Quran and Science. Truly, I'm saying to you, Quran and science took a lot more work from me from the deception of Allah. But for some reason, people like the deception of Allah more. I don't know. Maybe because it's the first book or maybe the name. I'm not sure. <coughs> uh, and by the way, if any of you speak French, don't forget to mention my French book because few of the French knew about it, you know, because I speak English always. So I don't have too many people who French who follow my videos and my teaching. So mention to your friends it's called the secret the prophet Arab, which means the, the secrets of the Arabian prophet. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim? You can get my book in Brazil. You can go to Amazon. I think they ship everywhere. It's an Amazon. I don't know if Amazon they have in Brazil. I think they have. Check it in Amazon Brazil. 
Do we have any Abdul here? <coughs> Any Abdul? Any Muslim here is proud to be Abdul? Who is a Muslim or Muhammadan would like to call us? Anyone? I don't mind to call Muslims. Actually, one of you he sent me a message that uh, uh, Shabir Ali he posted in Facebook that maybe one day he will debate me. One day, it's one day. One day he will debate me. It's coming. It's coming. And I know he will never do it. <clears throat> <coughs> you know, Muslims they debate you only if you, they knew. There's two things. There's two conditions. If you are a person who they can insult you and make fun of your belief and you don't get them busted or humiliated. So let us say it in a different way. You have to be very kind. Kind in the way they can humiliate you and you do nothing about it. Number two, we have to make fun of you because you don't speak Arabic and you do not know Hebrew. Number three, you will not be as surprising for us with the questions or answers we never heard of before. So always they decide to debate someone. He is limited because of many reasons. One of them, he don't speak Arabic. He is safe to debate. A person like me is very dangerous because no Muslim, even if you listen to me for the last 20 years, there's no way you will know how my answer will come to you and you will be shocked and I will destroy you for Islam is the most stupid religion and I know all the secret of this cult <clears throat> and this is why you see them they are terrified do we have any Muslim would like to call <coughs> may they may they by the way guys I might go tomorrow to the heaven to get some ice from the mountains there anyone would like to have some ice in case you want to have some ice for a new year evening if you want to drink some beer anyone like to have some ice I mean obviously this is God I mean how, how Allah he knew this if he is not God and look at this miracle he is the one who flipped the day and the night. I mean, look. Or look at this verse here. Look, look. This verse alone is a miracle too. This is science. <clears throat> Allah has created every animal of water. Every animal is created from water. Hmm. That's funny. The Arabic here says Dabba. Dabba is the one who have feet. Yadubu Dabban. The one who do hit the ground with his feet. Look what the verse is saying. Allah created every every creature who hit with their feet, not animal. Of them is the kind who goes upon his belly. But this is about the one who go in his feet, not in his belly. And here the word in Arabic it says yamshi, which means walk. The one who go in his belly, he don't walk, he creep. He creep. In Arabic we say yazhaf, which means here is a stupid Arabic word is used. Wrong Arabic word. We don't say to a snake, the snake yamshi. Yamshi is someone using legs. Yamshi here. Is correct he walk in four look what here he said has he created animals or creatures from every water who walk creatures who walk not just animals of them the kind which is goes upon its belly it doesn't say it goes it says yamshi which mean walk in her belly that's a stupid Arabic 
and then the other one walk upon two legs and the kind which walk in four okay but hold on that's it so all the creators of all the creation of Allah is either two legs or four legs or in their belly that's it we are done Allah never heard of uh, animals who have many many legs he never heard of a spider he never heard of uh, ants he never heard of uh, 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 you know uh, I mean all insect they have done uh, there's some insect they have like I think 50 60 I don't know how many legs what do you mean two and four that's it Allah he created those look like Allah he forget about the rest of the creatures if Allah created only those who have two legs and four legs who is the one who created the one who have tons of legs it must be someone else is that right Abdul like your God Allah never heard of this You never heard of those animals or creatures, insects? Just four legs. I mean, that's it. We are done. <laughs> Let me count how many legs this one have. Okay, guys, come back after two hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm very good because we are Arab. We can. Muhammad, he look at the angel. He found right away that it have six hundred wings. Let's see, uh, ninety nine legs. Now, because ninety nine, Allah is. Nine, I have ninety nine names. You know. So how God is saying such a thing to you, Muslims, that He created only those creatures? Where is the rest? What happened to the rest? <coughs> Hmm? Not only that, the Quran, as long as it's a book of miracles and science, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, any verse in front of us is a joke. <clears throat> You know, sometimes I wish I have like a lotto machine and we flip the verses of the Quran and the lotto stop and whatever stop in it, we explain the verse and we laugh. All who believe, when your slaves want to enter upon you, they have to ask you permission three times. What? Three times. What? Only three times? What about the rest of the day? Let it go, let it go. Let it go. <coughs> hmm. Look at this garbage. Who is a Muslim when I call me and tell me something good about the Quran? Any Muslim would like to call me and show me something useful about the Quran? Who is a Muslim when I do so? Anyone? Yeah, anything good. You never know. You might find some, some something good. Okay, you know what? As long as there's no Muslims will find us something good, I will find you something good. Hold on. <coughs> something good in the Quran, something good in the Quran. Okay, okay. Honey, honey. Hmm. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Some of you maybe you like alcohol. Hmm. 
Do you know that the Quran praise alcohol? In chapter 16, verse number 67, it says, and look at the funny translation, man. I mean, look at the funny translation. What a strong drink. What strong drink. It says saccharin, alcohol, drunk. I mean, I cannot believe it how much they try to fabricate the translation to cover up. Let us change from big tail to other potato. Who will what? Wait, who? Let us see. Um, <clears throat> Arbery. Here we go. Do you see it? Allah, he is praising alcohol, claiming that making you drunk is a miracle. This is a sign from Allah. Do you see it? Muslim, do you see it? That getting it drunk is a sign from Allah. Let us go to Zach and I can see what you will say about that. Tadadan, 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 tadadan. Hello, Alaikum Salam. Who is this with me? Uh, Dr. Zach and I. This is Dr. Zach and I. What do you want from me? Zach and I, you sound different today because I did drink beer. The American. They came to my country and they advised me to drink two drinks, seven up and beer. And then then I walk seven step and I jump. What do you want from me? Uh, Dr. Zach and Naik, the Quran praising you for being drunk. I know that that's why I'm drunk today. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. Leave the Britney alone. Your God claiming that making you drink is a sign and miracle from Allah. What do you say, Muslims? <laughs> what do you say? If we go to the if you want to see a miracle of Allah, go to any bar. Look at all the prostitutes there who they are drunk. See me at next debate. The guy he is saying, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me call him. <coughs> Hello. Yes, Aisa, how are this you? Is Christian Prince? Yes. What what you said to me? You sent, you sent me a picture. Oh, you didn't hear me? Okay, hold on, hold on. I cannot hear you, Christian Prince. All right, let me. I think I have a problem with my Skype. I forgot. Each time I go in, for some reason, hello. Hey, Christian Prince. Hey, he said, sorry, uh, my mic was not working. So you, you said you wanted to uh, talk to me. Yeah, I, you know, I send you a picture and. Hmm. I saw. So what is that? that is that a white seat? What is that? Yeah, this is like kind of you know. Reminder of what the true way of Allah is, you know, and what uh, you know, you send me a toilet seat and there is a word Allah in the middle. What is that? Why you do that? Okay, now, let me just teach you. Okay, mm, teach you, 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 you asked me before in in this in this last video mm. that I may uh, t tell you one way mm. what is the what is the best mm. of my religion of my faith, and it is. Mm. The twilight Allah seat is your religion. There's no no other god but Allah. Mm. So why you, why your no god Allah? God. Why your god Allah is praising alcohol, saying it's a miracle from Him? Because everything is made by Allah. Subhanahu so, Allah. so 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 to be drunk. Allah. So it's to be drunk is a miracle from Allah. Let us let us do a miracle, me and you, then. Okay. Why it's then, bad to get a drunk then? then? Why it's bad to get a drunk if Allah? It's a miracle from Allah. Okay. It is. It is not uh, 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 certainly bad to get drunk, but when you 
when you are on the way, you know, praising Allah five, five times prayer, mm. it, it is okay, you know, but you know, when you want to be a better Muslim, then you shall not drink alcohol. That's it. Oh, okay. So why Allah, he promised you in heaven alcohol then, if it's bad? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah does what, what you want. You know, the one thing I, I want to talk to, uh, to you about is, is because you are, you know, you, you know how to speak Arabic. You know, you are like the, you have so many Christians following you, man. And, and imagine there's one thing that, that Allah hates the most. And mm. this is like shirk. Mm. When you have partners besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mm. this is what Allah hates the most. And okay. when we have like, <coughs> you are the one who wants to have this faith, or all right? And just, uh, just like me, mm. we are just like almost the same, mm. you know? And when we have to... What shirk mean? What, to... what, what shirk mean, Isa? If you, don't, if you don't mind to explain to me, what shirk mean? For those who do not know what shirk mean. Shirk. Yes. <laughs> shirk, yeah. shirk means when you have some other... Mm partners mm. next to Allah so next to Allah mm. okay yes. so Th should, this, you, this should, you, should, you, should you obey it, your yourself should you obey Allah or should, should obey Muhammad which one you obey first you know the beautifulest in the religion in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you know he he makes uh, mm. not 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 kind of difference with with the messenger of Allah. This is not the question, my friend. Isa, when you, my friend. Yes, my friend, my friend, you are, when you obey, you are, you are a gentleman. When you obey the messenger okay. of Allah, yeah. you are obeying Allah. So, so Muhammad is Allah. No, Allah. Okay. No. Muhammad so, which is one not we should Allah. obey? We should. We should. Which one we should obey first? Is the obedience of Allah is the same <laughs> as obedience of Muhammad, or the obedience of Muhammad is the same as obedience of Allah? What is the teaching of? Muhammad, is it this La ilaha illallah, mm. or was it something different? Okay, is it is it possible, as your God? <coughs> my friend? Do huh? Muhammad commit sin? <coughs> it doesn't matter if he commits even even when even when Allah sent the Quran <laughs> and while while he recite the Quran, even when he makes that, even sh sh Shaitan threw something in. Mm. Imagine that. Mm. Still, Muhammad sinned. Okay, and okay, but. So how you can but obey someone? Jesus. How you can obey someone? You you, mm -hmm. you just admitted that he commits sin and he's a sinner. Okay, so how okay. you say I'm going to obey him? Allah, and uh, may Allah uh, forgive him. Allah, Allah mm. for, for, forget him surely. For, you know, but imagine you are believing that Jesus Christ is a holy one and he, who have no sin. Mm. And at the end of <coughs> your life, man, mm. did G Jesus Christ? Makes you less sinning. For sure, if uh, you know, for sure. Are you free from if, sin if am, when you I die? Am, no, no. Listen, Christ, listen, listen, listen. Okay, let me. Are you let, free let, from let, sin let me explain to you. Every human, even your Quran, mm -hmm. confirmed that every human being is a sinner. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Jesus is not Allah a sinner. Jesus is not a sinner, as chapter nineteen, verse nineteen, confirmed that he is a holy son. Is that correct? Allah knows best. He is the Holy Son. No, no. Don't Allah tell me Allah knows best. Allah I'm saying, no, no. Don't tell me Allah knows best. Chapter 19, verse 19, yes. saying that Jesus is holy. Yes or no? I believe. Okay. It. How I how Jesus is a human, but he is not a sinner in the Quran. Come on. What do come you on? believe in you just, one God? You just agree with me. You just agree with me a second ago that every human being is a sinner. Did, did you or did not? You agreed, right? Okay. Every human being is a sinner, but Jesus is not a sinner. How explain okay. to me? How does this happen? Mashallah. You agreed with me that Muhammad himself is a sinner. So now me and you and Muhammad, three of us, we are sinners. But mm. Jesus is not. Why? Explain so, to us. Oh, okay. Mm. Imagine mm. Jesus Christ, okay? He mm. brought you a message. What was the message of Jesus Christ? This is not the question. This is not no, the question. No, no, no. This is the My friend, the question is the question, why Christian Jesus Christian is not a sinner, Christian my friend. Friends, why Jesus is not so sinner? You have so many Christians, man, following you. Answer and, me, please. And why and Jesus, if he is a human leading, like me and you, why he is not a sinner in Islam? Path, man. Mm. You are trying to avoid that the question, mm -hmm. my friend. Why Jesus no, is no. not sinner? Why you and me and Muhammad we are sinners? Why Jesus is the only one is not sinner? This is the question. Go ahead. Mashallah, Alhamdulillah. More what? cannot say. No, Allah, Allah makes what what He wants, and and, and even that. My Christ friend, this is not the question, no guys. Look at this. Look, book. guys. Even look, in your look, book. look at the this Jesus gentleman. Christ did no sin, look, okay? look at even this gentleman. Even in look, your at, book. look at this gentleman. I am saying to him, the Muslim, they say to us that Jesus is just a man like everybody. He is a prophet. Muhammad is a sinner. The Quran confirmed that. 
I am a sinner and you are a sinner. When we ask you why Jesus is the only one don't have a sin, you say, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. What is that? What's yeah. the answer? What is the answer? Why Jesus have no sin? To have no sin, that's when you are perfect. To be perfect, you must be God. To have no sin as a human being means that you are God? Yes, sure, because a human being cannot be perfect. Every, my, my, Jesus Christ my friend, was not my friend. God. No, my friend, was he the son of God? My friend, <laughs> Christian prince, you, I my challenge friend, you, Christian. I want, prince, I want an answer after this debate. I want so an answer. My, after this. my friend, my friend, I you, did your Christian prophet, prince, did your prophet you. said, did your prophet said, every son of an Adam is a sinner? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Okay. Jesus is not a sinner. You said. Why? Because we believe that sh shaitan could not touch him. Wonderful, guys. Did you hear this? Shaitan, no, this is... shaitan cannot touch Jesus. Why? Yes. Why? Alhamdulillah. Why? Why he cannot touch him? Why, why he can't touch Muhammad, but and he can touch you, and he can touch me, but he cannot touch Jesus. So, do you think that because he he cannot touch? Uh, Jesus Christ that he may is God or the son of God I'm, answer, I'm asking you my friend why he can touch you he can touch me he can touch Muhammad he can touch all the prophets of God but he cannot touch Jesus what is special about Jesus G give me the answer you know the the uh, sad <coughs> thing about this debate or conversation is that mm -hmm. I am not a mu mushrik I I say la ilaha illallah hmm. and you this is the only thing you know for me Allah. you keep repeating I know I am I la ilaha la 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 but you la know ilaha illallah. you see this is this is there's stupid no first of all how you say there's no God but God. how you say how you say there's religion. no okay hold on hold on how you say there's no okay. God but God this is stupid you just said there's la no God ilaha illallah. yeah you just said there's no God ilaha yeah, but you said no I God. Said, you said there's no God at all. Does, 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 does it make sense? Don't if you, if you say there's no man. God, it means there's no God. So how he would be the exception if there's no God? If I say there's no potato and then you say except potato, that's stupid. Do you want to believe or do you not want to believe? Do you believe in, that there's in, no potato except potato? Explain to me how you say there's no potato but potato. Okay. I give you one last try mm. to challenge me. Uh -huh. Do Christians, or <coughs> let me say first, Jewish people, mm. Jewish people should be, should know more than Christians mm. that there's only one God. You know, mm. uh, you know. I when I say shalom to you, this means oh, okay, peace. Mm. When I say salam, this also means peace. Mm. When I say anta wa antum, you know, you know, Arabia antum means you many of you. Okay, maybe. My friend, what, what, is, what is that? What, what, right are you now. going to teach me Arabic now? You, you don't know Arabic. Just listen so, to me. Just what, listen to me. Do you Just know Arabic? You don't know Arabic. Okay, well, what are you telling me? Tell me what you want to say. Go ahead. Okay. You know, <laughs> it is easier for, is it, it is easier for, for, for me to, to make a Jew, Jewish guy, a Muslim, mm -hmm. than, than it, is, it is for me to make a Christian guy, mm -hmm. a Muslim. Well, you know why? Well, let me tell you because why. Let, 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 let me tell you without you. Are, there's, there's my friend, one God. My friend, okay, son, thank you very much. Christian guy, you know, he's... Straight away from, from the path. All right. Yes. That mean my friend, God, my friend, my yes. friend. Okay, you just say that Jews believe Someone, in one God, correct? Hey, did you say that the Jews? Them, did you say that Jews believe in one God? Yes or no? Did you say that? They should believe it. No, no. Did you, did you say they believe in one God? When they're yes. following Allah. No, no, no. And I'm asking you. Did the Jews believe in one God or no? They do. Okay. So how the Quran lies? But the Quran says they don't. The Quran says they worship a man. His name is Uzair. He is the son of Allah. In chapter nine, verse number thirty. Why you are lying I don't know to what me? you're talking about right now. You know, what? I'm not the best scholar of the Quran, but my know, friend, I am the best scholar of the Quran, yes. not you. No, this is not a question. <laughs> you say no. the Jews worship one God. This is what Muhammad Hijab he said to David Wood for four thousand years. Four thousand years the Jews instructed to worship God alone. Four thousand years, not even mm -hmm. a single mm -hmm. rabbi. But the Quran mm -hmm. says that Muhammad mm -hmm. Hijab is a liar, and you and yourself now get busted because the Quran says in chapter nine, verse number thirty and verse number thirty-one. That the that Jews, they Jewish worship a guy, his name is Uzair. Hold on. What? The Jews, Maybe. they worship a guy, his name is Uzair. They say he is the son of God. And not only that, mm -hmm. they worship the rabbis and they made them as God. So why okay. the Muslims, they lie to us and they say the Jews, they worship only one God. When the Quran says, different story. 
Okay. I'm talking about this your faith. Point. For me, I believe, I, be, I believe, I agree that Jews worship one God, the same as the Christians. Yeah. But you Muslims, but you Muslims, no, no, the Muslims, they believe in the opposite, and you Muslims don't worship one God. We, of course, we have <laughs> La ilaha illallah. This is no other. My friend, thing than you just said to they, me, there's they, no God, there's no potato, but potato. No How you thing. say there's no potato, imagine, but potato? Imagine, 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 there's no Quran, no Hadith. What, <coughs> what is left? Is la ilaha illallah. <coughs> There's no no other God but Allah. This is left. Imagine okay. you 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 always, always come with with some hadith and this and that. Imagine mm. what is the best thing in, in Allah's let, let religion? Me, let me ask. No, let me ask. No other okay. Let me ask. Let me let me Allah. let me ask. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. How many Allah? You, how many Allah you have? Just one. Okay. You're a prophet. He we said. We have one Allah. Okay. You're a prophet. He said that Allah. He will send another Allah in the day of judgment to you. And the first Allah, the Muslim will reject him. Mm. Did you hear mm. about this before? Mm. You no. hear about this before. Okay, let us show no. you. All right. Maybe I saw one of your videos. I don't know. All right. This is your prophet saying here that the Muslim they say to him, Are we going to see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, Yes, you will not you will have difficulty. You will see him the same as you see the sun or the moon in the in the very clear day. And then he continued down saying, and he said, the Allah will come to them in a shape. Do you see my screen with, with, with you? No, I don't have my phone on. And <coughs> okay, I, I will read for you. Just talking to you on, no on Skype. And that's it. Then Allah, then Allah then uh, uh, will come to them in a shape they knew or they know and will say mm -hmm. i am your lord they will this say maybe not, an, may, no, hold on maybe an angel no angel, allah, allah allah no no allah it says allah will come to them then allah will come to them in a shape and he will say i am your god i'm your lord and they will say no doubt you are our lord but before that allah will come to them in different shape read with me carefully allah will come with, to them mm -hmm. in a shape other than the one they know and will say I am your Lord and they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you mm -hmm. and this is our place and we will not follow you till mm -hmm. our Lord comes to us and when the Lord come to us we will recognize him so Allah goes and he sent another Allah okay who is the first Allah and who is the mm -hmm. second Allah what there is one first and one second there is no there's one Allah <coughs> and that's it and if Allah uh, send you one prophet or one messenger or one angel or one man this only with one my friend message, my friend that you understand you it says, it says Allah it says there is two is okay there's there's two Allah each one of them look different it says this is what it says it says Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know shape you know what shape is shape is a physical shape physical mean I know and, shape. and, I know and shape. the God Christian of Islam I don't, I don't okay. have uh, so much time left but no but but Allah me, now we, we have let, two Allah we have two you. shape okay I'm asking you the first shape and the we second shape. We have two Allahs. We have one Allah. Okay, who is the first shape and who is the second shape? I don't know what you talk. I just showed you hadith for you. Muhammad, he said, Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one they know. The Muslim, they will kick his ass to Allah and they will say to you, get, get rid of get it out of here. You are not our God. So Allah, he come back again, but now with a new shape and they will recognize him. So you, now we oh, have two Allah. What, what? So, <clears throat> so you think that Allah may come in a shape of a man and they... I did not say, say a shape oh, of a, I don't I didn't say shape of a man. I said maybe shape of a zirof. I do not know. Maybe it's a shape, shape of, a, of anything, a, anything. Uh, elephant. Maybe Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe elephant. Jesus Christ. We don't know. Maybe no. Maybe. maybe zucchini. We don't know. But this is the maybe. question. Okay. The shape. The first shape is Allah, and the second shape is Allah. What happened to the first shape when Allah became second shape? You know, I have no. I have no answer for that because. Okay. What happened to the second shape when Allah became first shape? Can you please la ilaha illallah? Do you think? Do you think thing, Allah? Do you think? Do you think Allah? Message. Do you think Allah? He There's hang no up. Partners do you? Allah. What is this? Is it, okay. Okay. You keep repeating the same thing, it's my just friend. Messenger. Okay. There's no potato, but potato. We got that. We got that. There's no potato, but potato. Now, but I'm talking yeah. to you, asking you, Allah. He have two shape. What happened to the first shape when Allah became the second shape? He got the, the busted in the garbage. He put it in the closet. What happened? How how God can be two in the same time? He's one. Bring me, bring me one proof from the Quran that mm. Allah has one shape, and that's it. And hadith. I'm not saying is a Quran. Away, um, uh, my, my, my friend, my, how you can say from the Quran, please. How you can say hadith? Throw it away. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih Bukhari. One, bring me one proof okay. from the Quran. All the Quran. You know, all the Quran hadith, says. Okay. Hadith is also Quran. Is is also is, is also hadith. And 
and and you notice okay. Quran is also hadith hmm. but the best of the hadith all right no is it the Quran yeah. always say that Allah he says or the one who wrote Bring the me Quran? one proof from okay from Quran when the Quran that Allah says has one shape okay hold on when the Quran hmm. says that Allah it is he who created for you hmm? okay he who I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what your point is. The Quran says it is He who created for you. He who? He who created for you. Allah hmm. cre created. Okay. Allah is talking. Allah is talking. But if Allah yes. is talking, He's saying it is He who created for you. He's talking about who? Oh, th th this is just for you as as a human being as a guidance. You know, when you have faith in 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 Allah, you don't need if if He said. No, but my friend, if Allah is talking, means if Allah is talking, this means you my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, if I am, Allah if I am a Christian course. prince, if I am a Christian prince, and I say to you, it is He, yes, Christian prince, who is talking to you, and or He said to you, but I am a Christian prince. How He mm. say it is He who created you? Why He don't say it is me who created to you? Mm. Mm. This is just for us that we may read it, and we say, oh, Alhamdulillah, this is from Allah. If I say uh, my friend, my friend, my, okay, this my, means okay. Let me ask. Unto, let me. Okay, unto, hold on. Hold, okay, 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 you, okay, okay. Let me. Let me. Okay, let us make it more simple. When Allah okay, He came this, down, when Allah you know, He came down to Muhammad, when Allah He came down to Muhammad using a rope, how how He was climbing the rope? He was using a ladder. How He came on, down? Man, and I don't have much time left, Christian Prince. Why? Where, you, I, where do you want to go? All I want to tell you. Hmm? All I want to tell you. You want to tell me no potato, but potato, right? You have so many. There's no potato, but potato. Many Christians following you, man. Yeah. A lot of Muslims live in Islam. So many, Do you know how many Muslims left Islam you know, today? Do you know how many Muslims left Islam today watching the video? Alhamdulillah, no, no one is leaving from Islam. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, not. My friend, and, go and, and you watch know what the I videos. want to tell Go you. and watch the videos, my friend, and you will leave I Islam hope, soon. I you and your you children Christian will leave Islam. Prince, Islam is the most you. stupid religion. No potato, but potato. you <laughs> may stop mocking on Allah's religion. Wallah billahi. Wallah. Wallah billahi. When you're not stop, when you're not stopping that, Wallah, this is Jahannam, the, the end for you. Uh, let, me, let me ask you about Jahannam. Is it true if I say Allah, uh, send me to paradise three times, Allah will send me to paradise? Allahu alam. So why, why are you are scaring me with Jahannam? I will just say to Allah, send me to paradise Allahu three times and then Allahu he will send alam. me. No, don't be Allahu alam. The Prophet says so. If you say, if you say Allah, send me to paradise three times, I will go to Come heaven. On. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe we can talk about it. Maybe we can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you interested or not? My friend, say, La ilaha illallah, my friend, let, let me ask religion. you. Let me ask you. Okay, I want to convert to Islam. Religion. I want to convert. No... I want to convert to Islam, but I am scared Inshallah. that Allah, Inshallah. Allah, Allah will make my penis endless. Don't you think this is scary? Why Allah will make my penis endless? Allah billahi. In 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 Christianity, you have one faith. Isa, Isa, Isa. Please, after please, after please answer. Die, no potato or potato. No potato, but going... we got that. We got that. Why Allah okay. will make my penis endless if I became a Muslim? I'm scared. Imagine you, my penis is endless, and now a Russian guy in Russia he cut it off and he make it surgeries, and he said to the Russian, as if it is beef. You know what? What kind of God he will make Christian your penis prince, endless? You made the Christian, you you, you made the, the the prince the prince for the Christians, but you know, I'm not. I feel sorry for you. What, I feel sorry for you. You will have an endless penis. Because what I if your What if you. your penis go in the jungle of the Amazon? Do you know how, how there is a killer ant there? They can eat your penis alive. So you imagine, have endless penis. Imagine you, that you, I you, will you, have you, a live penis in, you live in Pakistan. You live in Pakistan. Hold on, hold as on. A Christian, you live you in Pakistan. In you live in Pakistan, Jesus but your Christ penis in but, in your Baba said what? Uh, listen, you are your penis in like Amazon. What kind of God is God? You will be like an angel. Imagine this. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, go, kid, go. Let us see. There's another guy. He's trying to call. He's a Muslim. Let us take the second, the second potato. <coughs> answer, Abdul. Answer. What happened? You will not answer now. This guy called me when this guy was talking to me, and now he don't want to answer. Okay, forget. It. No potato, but potato. <laughs> no potato, but potato. 
I'm really convinced Islam absolutely. I mean, this is the only, if Allah is not God, how he can make my penis endless? Imagine your wife, she is sitting next to you in the couch, but your penis in China. And what do you do? You give him a call. Hey, can you make a U-turn? We are going to have sex now. Isn't it obvious that this is nothing but someone making exaggeration and stupidity? How how silly to believe in such a garbage. Hmm. <coughs> yes. Isa, Isa, you're asking me to stop mocking Allah. Why Allah don't yes. stop mocking us? I don't know what you mean, but you know what? Well, Allah, Allah okay, knows, Allah, He call us, God okay, Allah, He call us, oh, let me ask you, Allah, He call us najis. Why we are najis? Which means we are dirty, filthy. Why? Who? Who is najis? Who? The Quran says that we are najis. Who? You say we, but. The I Christians, the Christians, the Jews, the, the Hindus, Christians. the Buddhas. The not not all not all 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 please, please. my friend because they are not pure in the way of having just one one Allah hmm. and serving him and and when you have this, okay you, you, you have, have one Allah and, why you kiss the black stone mr. Isa do you know I I read the kiss of black stone then then being a mushrik no problem but why you kiss the black stone you worship one God yet you kiss a stone why I don't you know in my life, I did not. I don't care if you kiss it or not. Stone. I'm saying, why the Muhammad? Muhammad, you're a prophet himself. He kissed a black stone. If you're a prophet, worship God who is in heaven. He it, but you think, okay, okay, hold on. You said you did not know why he did it, it. guys. Did he, he say not, he did? Did he say he did not know why he did it? It looked like your prophet is crazy. He don't believe that there's no potato but potato. Because if you believe that there's no potato but potato, then why he kissed a black what, stone? Do you know? Okay, okay. Here, let me explain something for you that mm. because you Christians believe mm. that there's some some kind of uh, Flintstone or quarter stone at the end of the year or at the end of life that you may have this quarter stone and and when you believe in it you should you should you, you shall be maybe raised from the death no no my friend this is not, this we don't believe stone in stones this is stone. this is don't, right. don't, don't be stupid we don't believe in stones we don't believe, stone. stone. we don't believe in stones we don't believe in stones this is garbage well, don't lie mushrik. Mushrik. You are the mushrik. You, you are the one mushrik. who bow down in the front of okay. a stone. You not, are the one not, who pray not, in the direction not, of a stone. You are the one who go around the stone, and you are the one who kiss a stone, and you are the one who think a stone is holy. Is it true that you Muslim think that the black stone is holy? Yes or no? Only Allah is holy. Well, so why? So okay. So are you saying to me that Muhammad was kissing something dirty? This is not the question. Here we go. Let no potato, but potato. Get 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 out. Get out. Get out. Let your let 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 the man of the house call me. Your mom. Let the man of the house call me. I want your mom to call. The second I say to him, he says, "Little potato, the potato. No potato, no potato." I shall do that. There's no potato, but potato. I mean, how would even the shahada is the most stupid statement? How you say there's no God but God? You just you just confirm that there's no God. It's like saying there's no Pepsi but Pepsi, no zucchini but zucchini, no shish kebab but shish kebab, no stupid but stupid, no donkey but you. What's wrong with those people? It's like a recording machine. Somebody saying to me that's rude. I am rude. You don't like it. Don't listen to me. <clears throat> Mushrik. You want to see what I said to him in text? I said to him, you are a mushrik, yuck. <laughs> Black stone kisser. Any Muslim?
who is a Muslim when I explain to us why Muslims they kiss stones you kiss a stone you pray in the front of a stone you pray in the direction of stone you go around the stone and you believe a stone is holy yet you claim that your God is potato no potato but potato <coughs> Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And by the way, there's a very easy way to prove Islam to be a false cult. The, uh, <clears throat> let, let me call him back. This 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 kid. Hold on. I will give him one more chance. <coughs> Christian, Christian Prince. Yeah, Isa, I just want a question for you. Are you live right now? Yes, I'm live. I, I just want a question for oh, you, my friend. Too. Okay. What? What? <laughs> we just want a question for you. One question. In the, in the Quran, in the Quran, it hmm. says there is a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant, and supposedly. When the kuffar they came to destroy the Kaaba, Allah He sent birds to destroy the uh, the army who destroyed the Kaaba. Is that correct? Alhamdulillah. Okay. How come Al Qurmuti He destroyed just, the Kaaba? Hold on. How come? Little, how little come? Birds. Okay. How come? How Allah come? Hold birds. on. Hold on. How come? Them, how mashallah. come? How come? Mashallah. Mashallah. How hmm. come Al Qurmuti He destroyed the Kaaba, and He scream in the middle of the Kaaba after He destroyed it, saying to Allah. Where is your birds? And he took the black stone and he make it his purple stone for 21 years. Where was I Allah? I don't know. There was some kind of confusion what, you, what you're telling me right now. But I am asking you a question. I challenge you to prove me wrong. al Qurmati, very well known. By the way, the Kaaba destroyed many times, not only once. Where was yes. all the birds of Allah during the time, each time the Kaaba was destroyed? al Qurmati is one of them. al Hajjaj is one of them. It? So. What knows best? You see, you can say to me, or you are saying to me, potato knows best, potato knows best each time. So what do you mean? How Allah he claim here a story, nobody witnessed it, nobody saw it, it's a legend, it's a stupid, it's a lie. And how an army of elephant can come to Mecca? Do you know how much water the elephant they need to walk in the desert? How an elephant can survive the desert? Please, Christian Prince, let me ask you one question. Do you believe in one God? We believe in one God. You don't believe in one God. You believe in the black stone. You believe in Muhammad no, as no, your no, God. No. You I believe in many gods. God. I'm asking you yes. now, how yes. your God, he one make God. a lie. How your God make yes. a lie. How he make maybe, a lie, says an elephant maybe. army. An elephant army came to Mecca. How an elephant army can walk in the desert without water? You know, the funny thing is, we, we both certainly believe in one God no but we don't no difference. we don't No, the, you don't believe in one God you are a mushrik you are a mushrik you are a mushrik you are a mushrik you put the name of Muhammad you put the name of Muhammad you associate you associate the name of Muhammad with the name of your God you are a mushrik you are a mushrik you associate the name of God with the name of a man do you I don't know what you mean. Shahada, the Shahada, the one you say to me, there's no potato but potato. And then you say Muhammad is a prophet. When you add the name of Muhammad to the name of your God, when you witness to God, you are adding a man name to the name of God. This is shirk. No, no, no. Do no. you associate? You know okay, let me ask you. Do you say one Allah and his a prophet? Thing, no. Do you say, do you say, do you so? Answer. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do you say that Allah and his a prophet knows best? Yes or no? Do you say that Allah and his a prophet knows best? Alhamdulillah, Allah knows best. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Allah, Allah and His Prophet. Answer. Allah and His Prophet knows best. Do you say that? Alhamdulillah. Okay, how you say Allah and His Prophet they knew best? How you associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man? And let me answer to this, please. Okay, answer. The beautiful <laughs> thing in Allah's religion is that, you know, I I I wanted to to tell you that a, f a few uh, seconds ago that hmm. Allah makes almost no difference hmm. between of one of his messengers this is another question and, and this is another question himself, this is another question you are, how you associate the name of god and the knowledge of god how you say how you say first of all first of all first of all your god this is a stupid thing to say your god when he said we don't differentiate between the prophet that is a lie because in different verse in the quran he says we live in the prophets upon other prophets so he is a stupid he says stupid yes, things okay. contradiction okay. now answer okay. me here how you muslims how you muslim says this is the question hold on how you say allah and his messengers know best how muhammad accept that somebody says to him that you know and allah knows how you associate the knowledge of god with the knowledge of a man Allah gives them Allah gives the knowledge 
and he gives it to the man and to spread just one message. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, when when Muhammad he said the sun goes every day, when Muhammad he said the sun goes every day and put straight under the throne of Allah, explaining you you are a liar. You have time. Come on, where do you want to go? Your four wives they kick you out from the house. Now listen, when Muhammad when Muhammad he said the sun every day. When Muhammad he the, said, the "Hold on, hold on." There's only one God. When, one when the sun, when this, this okay, go, 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 go. Okay, go. go. This is, this is you see, you will not answer. You, you will not listen. How one. Allah? Okay, you, you keep saying there's one God. There's one Muhammad. There's one Muhammad. There's one Muhammad. How you call Muhammad? Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. How you call him praised one if he is not God? Praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised two? Jesus Christ. Who is the praised one? Just the same who way. is the praised one in Islam? But, Can you tell me who is the praised who one? Is it true? Is it true? I have him and I praise him, but I have only shut up. You praise him. We praise God, we don't praise a man. Go praise a man. You are a mushrik, black stone worshipper. The name of Muhammad itself is a shirk, is against God. <clears throat> Hello? Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Filthy Muslim. The one is, look, the one who is saying that is a Muslim. This is his name. Do you see his name? This is his name. This is how Muslims they talk. Okay, no comment. You're a prophet, he hit the black people, I understand. You will not be better. Faithy racist. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Muhammad, he said the shaitan is black. Muhammad, he said, killed all the animals who they are totally black because they are the devil. Right? Hello? Hello? Yes. <clears throat> Is this Dr. Zakir Naik? Oh, Zakir Naik now in vacation. He's in the in the beach. Why? Oh, okay. I, don't know, I, was, I, had, I had a question for Dr. Zakir Naik. That's why. Oh, okay. What is your question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I had a question. Like, for example, <coughs> In Second Kings chapter nineteen, mm. uh, this this is this passage, right? Um, uh, and in I think in Isaiah, something like that. Mm. The, uh, there's a similar chapter in the Bible. Mm. So I was wondering if like that's like a mistake in the Bible, or like. And also, I had another question. What, what, that... what do you mean? What do you mean? It's a mistake. What is what? What is the? I did not give me even the question. What is the question to 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 lead us to the mistake? Um, like I don't know the exact <coughs> reference, but like in Second Kings nineteen. Okay, my right, friend. The, the, okay, just give me when you get me the reference. Let me know. In the second, uh, the, the, there's a and the, the, uh, the, there's a mistake and the same so, so, okay. uh, Yes, uh, okay, this is a mistake. I, I don't know the the reference. Oh, okay, I, I I will go and find the reference for you. Uh, Isaac and Nike is going to call you back. Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? Anyone? They call a Christian prince and Christian prince should supposed to give them the reference about their question. <laughs> no potato but potato. No potato, but potato, no potato. Uh, you said you have no time, potato. Huh? Yeah. We told him, you said no time, you have no time, right?
چپیدی یا Any Muslim? <coughs> Any Muslim? Hmm? How many Muslims left Islam because they watch my videos and see the stupidity of this cult? The Prophet of Allah, he claimed to be a scientist. Once I was the prophet with the prophet in the mosque in the time of the sunset, he said, Look, Muhammad, he volunteered. Muhammad, he used to work in NASA. Muhammad, because he used to work in NASA, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He have to tell us science about uh, the space. Muhammad always he go to the space, you know. Allah, he sent him a flying donkey, so he knows. Allah and his messengers knows best. So Muhammad he said, uh, look, hold on, hold on. What this guy he sent me? Let's get lost. What this guy he sent me? Certainly I will have wife in heaven. Maybe Allah will promise me 72 wife. You look, look, guys, look, look at this chipati. Look at this chipati. Look at this. Look what he said. Look what he said. This is life. Certainly I will have wife in heaven. May Allah. Maybe Allah will promise me 72 wives. As you, Christian, do you have any wife in heaven? <laughs> okay. Uh, Valla, I wanted to go sleep. Uh, but uh, when I send you that picture, straight called me. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I, you will not have uh, 72 heaven in heaven. I feel sorry for you, Christian Prince. If a Christian Prince have 72 wives, actually, the only solution to stop Christian Prince getting Allah busted is to send me right now the 72 wives because then I will be busy. Why you don't God, your God, make send me 72 wives now and that's it? I will be totally busy. I'm telling you. Especially if they are all the day naked, like wow, 72 wives, each one of them her ass is one mile, as Muhammad he promised. Because we Arab, we like women with big bum, you know. One mile ass. You know what? If I can get one wife, she have one mile ass, I can be the most rich person in the world. Hello? Fucking nigger, fucking nigger, fucking nigger. Filthy animal. Look at his name. Look, look at this name. Muhammad. <laughs> Filthy animal. <coughs> Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? If I can have one wife, she have one mile ass. I will go right now to the bank, attack the bank. She will fart at all the security guards. If the police try to chase us, she will do poop at them. She will destroy them all. One fart. They are gone. The police car will flip in the air. No mercy. As simple as that. <clears throat> By the way, uh, fart is a flammable. What I'm worried about, what if my wife in the heaven, she said to me, I want an underwear. How many meter of fabric I need for her bra or her underwear? What if this wife, she decide to do poo poo? We will have a mountain of poo poo every day. One mile ass, you can imagine. Hmm. I'm, I, you know, I'm not sure really why Allah He made it so small. What about make it ten mile? I mean, what you will lose? Just add one zero. 
one mile s is how many how many in kilometers guys how many meters one mile if we convert one mile how many meter somebody use his calculator just to give you like an example of how how small it is one mile hmm? 1.6 right yeah well <clears throat> to explain to you what will happen let us say you are here you are here your wife ass is going to be or oh, let us make it this way hold on let us say you are here your wife ass is going to be like this let us say as long 1600 meter so let us say uh, uh you know we have uh, 800 meter from this side and 800 meter from this side so your wife ass will be like this and you will be in the middle i mean that's amazing this is exactly what will happen if she sat in the top of you by the way this drawing is a, co a copyrighted okay i know because some of you might take it and put it in the museum let me draw it again if you are here and there is that you change the color and your wife this is 800 meter from here and there is 800 meter from here and that is the ass of your wife and you are in the middle how cute Eesh. Take beer. Let me put my signature over it, so you guys you don't play copyright for it over it. Muhammad, he will take it. He will put it in Quran. Just wait. I'm telling you, Muhammad, he will. You know, uh, I will type in Arabic because uh, Muhammad, he do not know Arabic. Christian. Here we go. Oh, I don't want to put it inside the ass in the top. That's better. Oh, even it's not coming better. I'm not not coming right. And here, Allah promised ass. That's it. What do you want more? Who can do? I wrote it even Allah. Allah. I mean, this is amazing. Who can who can promise such a promise? And Muhammad he said that a human being, and when he go in heaven, Allah will make his penis endless. So if you are here, and then you go here like this. This is your private part. And then he said that the vagina fit for that. So the vagina would be like endless. Oof, 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 oof. This is like, you know, like what is what is that? Endless. This is too much. What kind of religion promise that? This is why those guys who are side bombers, they want to die. They are they are they, you know, they have they are obsessed with with the with penis and, and, and vagina and ass and <clears throat> too much details okay okay <laughs> what i can do i mean this is how it is too much too much but this is what islam is about right we are not adding things we are not making things up do we have any muhammadan You know, once uh, I was in the Philippines, and they told me there's a guy, he is thinking to convert to Islam, and he is a principal of a school. He have a friends, Muslims, and they start convincing him. They showed him videos about scientific miracle in the Quran, and etc. So they told me today we invited him to come to the seminar. So if you don't mind, you know, take care of him. And they told me when he come, 
you know, one of them, he said, I will walk behind him to tell you that this is him. Like, this is the guy. <laughs> so anyway, you know, for me, when I do seminars, I go between people and I ask them questions. I don't wait for people to ask me questions. Uh, so I targeted him. And the guy, he said to me, so this is really Islam? I said, yeah, as you see, I'm showing your reference in front of you on the screen. He said, this is unbelievable. What they told me is totally different. It's, that's weird. He said, what do you think? I'm telling the truth? He said, no, obviously this is the truth. I mean, you are showing me the book name, etc. You showed us the Quran. And even I played for them Islamic videos. The guy, he could not believe it, how much they were lying to him to the point he's almost converting to Islam. This is how they try to fool you and they make fun of you. They assume that you are ignorant, you do not know. But if you are watching my videos, there is no way you will be ignorant. And if you are sharing my what I teach you, what I show you, your children will not be ignorant. Don't wait, by the way, until your children one day meet with someone as a Muslim, he lied to them, and he say, Quran is full of miracles, blah, 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 blah. And then later it's going to be hard to convince them that they are not telling the truth. <clears throat> and by the way, you know, some uh, one of you, he said to me, uh, actually, this is, I hear some always, you know, like, I mean, you are not being a Christian when you speak to Muslims. I mean, how I can speak to someone who believes in the devil? If you go to Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse, uh, I think, 11, it teaches you and instructs you that you have to learn about the, the scheme of the devil. You have to learn what the devil is about. You cannot fight the devil if you do not know what the devil is about. It's like, you know, you want to fight, you want to fight uh, cancer, but you do not know what cancer, or you refuse to study cancer. We don't study cancer because we like cancer. And this is why Muslims, they really, they are so upset from someone like me, not someone who just preached the gospel, because someone preached the gospel is not hurt in their cult because he don't touch it. He's just speaking about his God. But the Christian prince, he don't do what those people do. The Muslims, they make fun of you 24 hours, seven days a week for being a Christian. But when they speak to me, they say to me, why you don't be Christian? Do you notice? Know they make fun of you for being a Christian 24 hours, seven days a week. Suddenly, they want me to go back and become a Christian. Because they think now I'm not being Christian. So Christian for them is you being a person who don't expose Islam. That's how they want it to be. Someone, they can throw rocks at him and he will not throw rocks back. So they try to make you look bad in front of the Christians. Oh, look what he is saying. Do you know the Christian prince, he used the word donkey? Is that biblical? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Even Jesus said to them, the sons of Viber. I did not say that to the Muslims. Which one you prefer, donkey or Viber? Right? Anyway, I hope today we cover some good part and we answer so those Abduls. And you guys, did you enjoy your time? Did we have a good time together? By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click like because YouTube, I receive a message. It looks like everybody, this is for everybody, not only for me. And they are saying that there is many subscriptions of YouTube, they will be deleted because they are not giving like or giving I'm not making things up you can, you can show the message if you have a channel you will see it uh, because there's some maybe they are maybe software or something so they will delete a lot of subscriptions so if you are a person that not like videos for long not necessarily my video 
you did not uh, make comment or post it's mean you are not active and your subscription is fake so they will delete it you know what I mean so just be aware of that uh, <clears throat> anyway my friend what is making Muslims more upset from me that they notice that a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam because of what we do and guess what those who leave Islam they will be the worst enemy to Islam a Muslim who leave Islam he is a big damage to Islam you know like I will give you an example the guy who his name convert to Islam I'm sure you know him right many of you heard him or saw him this guy was promoting Islam for 16 years but if this guy is not an ex-muslim many of you will not care for him right but because now he became an ex-muslim making videos about Islam Muslims and non-muslims they take him more seriously which by the way is not right because simply being an ex-muslim does not make you a person who knows Islam not necessarily no Muslim themselves they do not know Islam so why being an ex-muslim will make you do know Islam but anyway just because you say I am an ex-muslim people they get more attracted to listen to you because they want to see why you left Islam they became curious so just because somebody he left Islam people they like to listen to him more more than Christian Prince Christian Prince he was not a Muslim so obviously the one who like as example our brother Nabil Qurashi may the Lord bless his soul people they like to listen to him because simply he's an ex-muslim supposed to, and that's why he became so famous otherwise he's just a person like everybody and actually he do not know much about Islam the same as the rest of the Muslims so people they have an idea that if you are an ex-muslim it's mean you know if you convert to Islam to two days and then you leave Islam people they will appreciate you a lot more just because you convert to Islam maybe for a week just say I am an ex-muslim I will give you an example uh, a publishing company they contacted me and they said to me we want to publish, publish your book I said uh, what make you interested they said to me we like to publish books of ex-muslims I said I'm not ex-muslim they said oh too bad because ex-muslim books sell more <laughs> you believe it ex-muslim books sell more I said I don't uh, for me anyway I'm not going to give you my publisher right to anyone I publish by myself I don't need anyone but for them it's a business ex-muslim make more people buy the books and read the books but do ex-muslims know more than me about Islam no do those people who have a PhD knows more about Islam from me no do someone Shabir like Shabir Ali knows even one percent of what I know about Islam never But people they got titles they like titles ex-muslim or bhd or etc the second you say that that's it you know they praise you <clears throat> anyway for us at the end of the day we do our job and we do what we need to do and we hope that people they help by spreading the truth and the truth will set you free Shabir Ali, Shabir Ali is a smart person compared to the Muslims. And uh, the unique about Shabir Ali that he knew his size, so he don't repeat the mistake twice. Uh, there is a person who debated Shabir Ali, and that person I forgot his name is a Christian. That guy he made Shabir Ali falafel, little literally falafel, you know. But I forgot his name. Shabir Ali will never debate him again. It was a mistake so most of Muslims they choose carefully they debate who and if they make a mistake once actually one of you he sent me a message about Shabir Ali that's why we are mentioning his name actually let me see what he said <clears throat> He sent it to me in Facebook. It's a copy of what Shabir Ali he said. They asked him to debate me. Let us see. 
the problem you see if when somebody send me a message how you can find the message I have like I open my Facebook it's endless okay okay anyway, here we go we found it they ask him they ask him about debating me all right somebody paused for him why you want to debate when you want to debate Christian Prince look what Shabir Ali he said <coughs> dr. Shabir Ali I will debate with him debate him one day God willing there are many ways that lead to my debates one way is for the student groups on campus Muslim Christian to cooperate and to hold joint program with each bringing their favorite speaker if that turns out to be me for the Muslim group I will be honored you see he is a very politically correct Chabir Ali he don't say I will debate him for sure contact him no 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 you see look look how look how the answer is perhaps like Allah you know Allah in the Quran he, he's not sure if Muhammad will be victorious or not he says perhaps Muhammad will be victorious perhaps Muhammad will die or will be killed perhaps I will debate him one day God is winning one day perhaps okay until the perhaps happened what we can do <laughs> uh, oh sorry you cannot see the screen hold on let me let me turn the screen on it's my fault sorry guys you cannot see the screen okay so this is the post here somebody post for him why when you are going to debate Christian Prince and this is his answer perhaps I will debate him one day uh, God willing there are many ways many ways that lead uh, to my debate one way is for student groups uh, uh, in compass Muslim and Christians to cooperate and hold joint program uh, with each bringing their favorite speaker if that uh, turns to be out, out to be me uh, for the Muslims group I will be honored very simple but he never said I will debate him maybe perhaps and this is the same answer they gave him when he was live in a debate they said to him when you are the, uh, one one of you I, I, I don't remember the name he said to him I have one million dollar question for you when you are going to debate Christian Prince the same same answer an answer which is not an answer so you know like Shabir Ali is the kind who never answer anything All right <clears throat> why I debate in person why I need to debate in person why I need to do so what for I mean the people they are looking for me in person or they are looking for my answers and my knowledge why why it's necessary to do in person so second at the same time I don't like the format they do it's a it's a it's a hypocrisy format five minutes for you five minutes for me the real debate is a crossfire where you get me busted, I get you busted, which means both of them in the same time we, we are behind the microphone and both of the same time we can get each other busted. Not five minutes or ten minutes for you, twenty minutes for you, and now twenty minutes for this guy. The guy here go and do blah 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 for twenty minutes, and then it's your time to go do blah 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 blah. And what they are doing, they are reading something they wrote twenty years ago before they go to the debate. This is not a debate. A debate that you say something I get you busted in the moment did you say that did you just say that that's a debate do you understand guys what they do 10 minutes for you 10 minutes for me this is not this is a monologue Two two people singing their songs and nobody even even like you know uh, uh, like here we go the, the David Wood he debated with the hijab what hijab he did he never answer anything he just went in the microphone make mockery as simple as that there's no debate where's the debate where's the questions where's the answers
And the reason they will not dare to debate me because if somebody try to make a mockery of my belief, I will wipe the floor with him. Not physically for sure. I'm not a violent person. They take advantage of you being kind and being gentle and they make a mockery of you and your belief. And because you are not good in mockery, so people will think that you are a, a guy who lost the debate. They cannot do that with me. Imagine if Zachary Naik is debating me. Every two seconds he says something, I will get him busted. Honest to God. Every two seconds. Even if he says assalamu alaikum. Just say to me, assalamu alaikum, I got you busted. That, just say assalamu alaikum. You said nothing yet. Right? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim in the, in the chat would like to call us? Yeah, I have I have nothing nothing against David Wood, but I wanted David Wood if you want to debate Muslims to be tough with them. You know, you are not debating them, my friend. Those are people who they, they, they are professional liars. You have to be tough as long as you agree to be in the stage, then you agree to fight the devil. You agree that you will get dirty. You don't go on wearing your suit. I'm not talking physically, sure. I'm talking about okay, this is their level. You have to go and deal with them. You know what I mean? It's like going inside the a butcher house and you are wearing white clothes and you keep yourself clean so you you need to change your tactic and you need to learn about them uh, the Muslims they made an agreement that they will not do personal attack okay have you ever heard of a Muslims keep their agreement and if what what if the Muslim did not keep their agreement why you have to keep yours as long they they, they broke their treaty the treaty is gone Correct. If somebody made an agreement with me, that is no, no personal attack, and he start doing the personal attack, it's mean the treaty is gone. Why you want to keep the treaty? <laughs> no, you should not. It's not about being humble, my friend. You have to be vigilant, as the Bible says, and you have to be smart, as the Bible says. And when you deal with the devil, you have an opportunity. If you don't take over the opportunity, people will think that you are weak. And this is what the Muslims, they come as an impression, they thought that you are weak. When the fact the one who was weak and the one who was making poo, poo it was hijab. Hijab, he said things will, you know, enough to destroy Islam for the coming century. Like all of you now, what you remember from the debate, all of it. Allah, he prayed for, but not to. <laughs> Correct? From the whole DB, Allah, he prayed for, not to. And Elijah, mean God is with us. After all the mockery, you see, the, in the beginning, the Muslims, they were happy because hijab was acting like a monkey in the stage. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. It's like it's like a breed dancer from, coming from Egypt. Show me. Silence me. What is rest? What what is left is to open his uh, his bra and and shake it. Show me, okay? Show me, okay? Why you don't show me? Silence me, okay? And, and David like looking at him like what? What this guy is doing? <laughs> what the heck? Show me. And he was moving his fingers like show like 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 if a guy he worked like in a theater or like he's an actor. Show me, silence me, answer me. And David Will is holding his beard like, what the heck? What's wrong with this monkey? Where this monkey is going with this? 
and the Muslim they were so excited hey <laughs> for 4,000 years 4,000 years no single rabbi not even a single rabbi he broke he is instructed to worship God alone 4,000 years he got his prophet busted that his mean his prophet is a liar because the Quran says it clearly that the Jews they worship a guy his name is Uzair when you say for 4,000 years the Jews did not worship anyone except one God then the Quran obviously is a fabrication right Abdul and you know an example of the evil of of this cult did you who who of you watch the video of uh, today is it today the Muslim they were saying they want to kill me was it today we want to kill you one of them he called me he said my may, may Allah have uh, make your mother have a cancer if there are people who following a good God why their fruit is very ugly do I need really to uh, like you know they try to convince you Islam is wonderful so what who is the one who is killing who is the one who do terrorist attack who is the one who shoot people in the market of Christmas what for what religion is the one who teach you to do that so your God is good but you do killing and you kill people with no mercy and you have no love and you curse people and you pray even your prayer is a curse so where is your God and who is your God yeah and the hijab supposed to he speak Hebrew right he was reciting a verse I can repeat a verse 20, 20 time and recite it but at the same time he just got himself busted because the verse he recited proving that God is unity because echad that verse it says echad and the word echad is not about one it's about one unity This is why the Bible says that the man and the Old Testament, not only the New Testament, the New Testament called the Old Testament. The Bible says that <clears throat> the man he will leave his wife and they will become one when they get married and they will become a heart. A heart. They are still they are two persons, but yet it's called them a So he himself he got himself busted. And when he says, uh, like they say, that in the first 300 years that the, the, the church father never taught the Trinity, this is the biggest stupid lie. So who is the first even four Gospels written by who? Aren't they those are the church fathers? And then we have tons of a church father teaching the Trinity. Tons, not one, not two. And we can get, we can quote tons of reference. You can go right now and search on Google. What the first fathers of the church said about the Trinity, and you will get endless reference. So what 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 happened always with the Muslims? They lie, and they repeat the lie until they believe it. The same as the Quran. You know what I mean? Let us lie and repeat the lie, and after we repeat the lie. We believe in the lie. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? All right, look like we are out of them today. I'm sure they are here, but you know, no potato but potato. 
again guys I want to remind you uh, don't forget to subscribe and to make comment not necessarily in my videos because I receive a message from I saw one of you was posting that I thought this is really a fiction story that the uh, YouTube they are going uh, to delete a lot of subscriptions actually let me see see if I can show you that I will open my channel in YouTube and you will see a message I will see a message in the top of it let's see if we can show you that here we go <clears throat> let us show you Do you see it? It says December 13, uh, on December 13, 14, 2018, you may see noticeable decrease in your subscription uh, account as we remove spam from your channel. And I think this is not only for me, it's not about me. I think this is everybody receive. You see it? So within uh, a few days from now, actually now already, and actually I notice um, subscriptions drop a little bit, but I don't see really much. But let us see. They are not done maybe yet. I don't know. Today is December 15, right? They are saying they will do that in December 13 and 14. <laughs> anyway uh, all right guys I think we have done for today uh, please don't forget to download the videos because my videos they will not stay there I am cleaning my videos every few weeks so uh, and there is there is people who they are downloading my videos if you want to watch debates like just debates uh, there's a guy he he, uh, he have a channel it's called the Christian Prince debates and there's uh, a brother his name is Penn. he posts my videos too and like there's many so take them download them share them make them in your channel i don't mind i'm not like those who they are getting angry if somebody use their videos because i'm not working for myself i don't really care i would love to see you having even more subscri subscriptions from me because at the end of the day is about spreading the truth it's not about christian prince or about you all right so let us all together work together and share the truth together this is not about me. This is not about you. There's many people they can be deceived. And we have a duty. And the duty is to fight ignorance. The problem in this earth that we are people of ignorance. People die because of cancer, but not because of cancer is very hard to fight, but because we are ignorant about cancer. The same as people used to die because of a simple flu by millions. For centuries, people die because of a flu because they do not know how to fight it. But the flu is very simple to fight. And the flu might come back again, and millions of people die, because it's going to be a different flu, which we are ignorant about it. So our ignorance is the problem. And ignorance brings death. So let us together fight the ignorance. We don't want to fight Muslims, we want to fight the ignorance. Our ignorance first. You cannot find the ignorance of others if you are ignorant yourself. And I think all of you agree in that, right? If you are, if I am ignorant, how I can save you from ignorance? We cannot do that. And the Bible command us to do so. Read the books, search the books, the books, find the truth, and the truth will set you free. So I want to say thank you for being here. Don't forget to download the videos and share it around. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon. Bye-bye.